Hi everyone, I'm Miss Val from the North Brunswick Public Library. Today is Alphabet Soup. It's a special kind of story time where we are going to focus on certain picture books that have to do with a letter of the alphabet. And today's letter, do you know this one? This is letter H. So letter H, the capital letter H, it's gonna be two tall lines with one line in the middle connecting them. And the lowercase letter H is going to be one tall line with a curve in the middle going down. Now what does the letter H sound like? Do you know? Could you make the sound? Ha, ha, ha. You can even feel yourself making the sound, right? If you put your hand in front of your mouth and you go, ha, 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 you can feel it. Or if you go outside in the winter when it's really cold, if you go, ha, ha, you'll see your breath because your breath is warm, but the air is cold. You'll see the letter H. How cool is that? So. What are some things we can think of that start with the letter H? We have some here on our picture. We have what looks like could be a rabbit or a bunny, but another word for it is a hare. That starts with H. We have house. Do you live in a house? I live in an apartment. That starts with A, right? This is a hen a horse, and what about this last one? A hippopotamus. Oh, that is such a fun word, isn't it? So, the first book I have for you today is called The Heart of a Whale. And what's our H word here? Heart. Can you point to your heart for me? It's right here on your chest, on the inside, right? There are a lot of body parts that start with H, aren't there? We have heart, we have head, we have hair. My hair's really short right now. We have hands. What about, what about us ourselves? We are humans, right? There are so many H words for body parts. All right, let me move and make all this space so we can see the beautiful pictures of our book. All right. Yeah, we can see the whole thing. Awesome. Whale's song was so beautiful, it could reach the farthest of far aways. It sang of happiness and hope, magic and wonder, always and everywhere. Do we have any H words on this page? Happiness and hope. Those are both feelings, right? Very good H words. It was a calming sonata for a wriggly octopus a cheerful symphony for a sad urchin. An orchestra for a ballet of ocean flowers. Don't they look beautiful? A lullaby for a herd of newborn seahorses. Look at them sleeping on top of jellyfish. And what's our H word here? Herd, it's a group. Whale sang day after day, night after night, warmly weaving a path of starlight into the seagrass taller than a forest and through the wild and tangled undergrowth. But even with the roaring waves above him, even with the pounding drumbeat of his heart, even with his song, Whale thought how quiet the sea could be at times. We have a lot of H words on this page. We have he and him. That's because this is a boy whale. We have heart, which is in the title. And we also have how. That's a question word, right? We have what, why, when, and how. And each question word. And how there was no song big enough to fill his empty heart. Whale sighed. His sigh drifted away like a wish, a wish that the ocean carefully gathered and carried for him. We have his and him again, 
both H words, past seabeds through fathoms, over dreaming turtles and forgotten treasures. The turtles look like they're having a great nap. They all look so cozy. To another, it's a different whale. Who followed the wish through the sea. All the way to the whale with the empty heart. They're going to find each other. Oh, wow. And you can see them singing a little song. Ooh. Together they sang of happiness and hope, magic and wonder. And what do you think they said when they met one another? Hello. <laughs> That's an H word we use almost every day. Always and everywhere. Oh, the whales have each other. Isn't that so nice? Ah, oh, all right. I have another page of some H words here for you. And we saw some of these already, right? On our other page, we saw house. We saw horse. We saw hen. I mentioned hands, right? And the book we just read had heart. We have three more H words here on this paper. We have helicopter, hat. We're gonna start wearing a lot of hats, right? It's getting cold out. The last one we have is hammer. So my last book for Story Tots is actually very good for alphabet soup, but it's also very good for Thanksgiving, which is coming up soon. And this book is called Harvest. So she's harvesting all of the fall fruits and vegetables and flowers. A lot of stuff that you'll be eating really soon this holiday. So today is the day I've been waiting for. Today is the harvest. That's our big H word. All year, we have worked so hard. Mom and I planted seeds in our garden and pulled weeds so the sun could reach it. We fed it water when it was dry. We put fertilizer into the soil when it was hungry. We have so many H words on this page. We have have, which I just said, right? We have hard, it was difficult, it was tough. And we have hungry. You know what hungry is. Are you hungry right now? You probably will be when we see all the food in this book. All year our garden has worked so hard. It put down strong roots so plants could grow. It flowered and created fruit upon trees. Vegetables and sweet smelling herbs grew from our seeds. Now herbs, even though it doesn't sound like it, it starts with the letter H. It's a silent H. Even though it's there, you don't say it. Now the fruits and vegetables we harvest today will feed us later when we are hungry. We have harvest and hungry again. And can you see some good foods in this picture? I see pumpkins and I see cabbage and I see apples on a tree. I pick apples from the trees and dig carrots from the soil. Do you guys like apples and carrots? I pluck herbs like sweet basil and dill and flowers like black eyed Susans and sunflowers. Oh, aren't they so pretty to look at? But of all the garden's gifts, the pumpkins are my favorite. So smooth and orange upon the vine. I like pumpkins a lot too. We have a bounty of food and flowers. I feel thankful to the earth for its work. The harvest. There's harvest again, or each word. There's so much more food than we could eat in one meal, but there are ways we can store our harvest for later. Do you see some more foods on here? I see corn and jam and squash, all kinds of stuff. Mom and I hang the flowers and herbs to dry. We bake pies and bread. We cook some of the fruit and store it in glass jars. 
What's our new H word on this page? That's going to be hang. See? They're hanging from the ceiling. That night, there is a huge moon, as round and rusty as a pumpkin. Mom tells me it's called the harvest moon. I know why. And what's our H word? Huge. That means it's so big. We have harvested our garden. All year we have worked so hard. All year our garden has worked so hard. Now it is time to rest. Have you worked hard this year? I bet you did. I bet you worked hard in school and at home. And I really hope that you enjoy the upcoming season, any upcoming holidays that your family is going to be celebrating, or just some good food that you've got in your future. So how do we close out Alphabet Soup? Do you know? We'll sing the ABC song together. Are you ready? You know how it goes, right? It's gonna go like this, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? If you wanna see our videos next time, subscribe to the YouTube page like the Facebook page, and you'll get an alert when a new video goes up, okay? Goodbye, guys.